There's a few different types of what they call a dummy load. So what is it, first of all? Well, it supplies a fake termination. There's dummy loads for loudspeakers. There's dummy loads for electrical devices. But this is a dummy load for ham radio or any sort of radio waves. It's called a DL30A. And it says here the power is 15 watts average, 100 watts peak because it's blooming small. What do we use it for? Well, you could you could plug that straight in the back of the radio and you could do some testing because the RF goes in here and is absorbed by a 50 ohm non-inductive resistor. So people use these for testing, but also if you've got a suspect piece of coax, you could put your coax on the end of here and put that into your radio and make sure that you've still got a one to one because that's a perfect antenna effectively. OK, now I have discovered there's some huge uh, dummy loads. Look at the size of this thing. So that would be effectively quite a big one of these. All right. And inside it would be filled with some sort of mi mineral oil. This is a large dummy load with a radiator on it. OK, and that's good for up to 100,000 watts for broadcast testing, you know. Now, I didn't know that a dummy load and I'm on the Wikipedia page here. I'm sure you've worked that out by now. I didn't know that there's dummy loads for audio as well. This is a dummy load for loudspeakers. I mean, I've got no idea how that works, but also a power supply. If you've got a power supply and you want to uh, give it a dummy load, you know, like I want this power supply to be sucked at 100 amps. You know, you, it needs some sort of dummy load. So there's an ele electronic load of 800 watts from how do you pronounce Horschel and Hackle? Horschel and Hackle, probably. This is a very small dummy load. I don't think you can get them any smaller than this. And I got the mine from Martin Lynch. And here it is here. It's only 20 pounds. It's a handy little device. It says it will do up to 100 watts SSB, PEP, 15 watts continuous. It would gradually get warm. And that's quite an interesting experiment we could do one day. What the hell do you want it for? Well, it replaces an antenna. It shouldn't radiate at all. And I've always wanted to put a bit of cheap RG58 <laughs> coaxial cable from a good friend of mine onto this and see if we can make any contacts because I'm fairly certain the RG58 would leak quite well on the 40 meter band. But saying that, let's say you've got a piece of a suspect piece of coaxial cable. The easiest way is you plug that instead of your antenna, you plug that in to the end of the coax and see if your radio still displays, for instance, a, a one to one SWR. It's what you would get for that. There's a number of dummy loads I've seen. In fact, there was one at our club shack. It was the size of a couple of maybe four shoe boxes with an SO23, uh, a PL259 on the end. And it was filled with mineral oil with a, a big one of these probably inside it. So it would take a long time for the the RF to heat it up. Now this particular one comes with a PL259. So I actually keep mine with an SO239 screwed into the end so that I can put a patch lead on the end of it. And I use mine for testing cables, to be honest. I just want to go, I've got a perfect antenna here. I'll put my cable in, am I still getting, I'm getting a perfect match. If I've got a perfect match, that's fine. So it's always, a handy little tool to have in your toolbox that an SWR meter, a reasonable power supply, plus your coax and your radio and that sort of thing. And that will get you going. So that's what a dummy load is. And I meant to make a video about that the other day and I forgot because I am referring to this book. OK, it's the foundation book. And it just so happens it says dummy loads. And <laughs> look, there is about eight lines of text. And I've managed to pad it out to about four minutes. Right, what's coming next? I've got the book in front of me. We're going to do, we've done dummy loads. I've got a big choke ballon thing here, but I don't know when I'm supposed to fill those in for you. I think, I think I was supposed to do that when we were doing antennas. I'm pretty certain there's a choke in here somewhere. But anyway, we'll do that. We'll do, because I made this. This is handmade by me. 
uh, and that's coming along. All right, so from my uh, dummy load friend and me, a very good day. I'll see you on the next one. Adios. Bye for now.